Hey there, this is Ian Perry, Solutions Specialist at Candrone. Today I'm in Fort Langley, British Columbia with my DJI Mavic 3E and RTK module, as well as my MLEDs, both Base and Rover, the Reach RS2. We're gonna fly a photogrammetry mission and check it against our control network. So to start out, we have our MLED Reach RS2 base and the receiver. Now I've set up here on an unknown point in this field and I've configured this system to broadcast corrections using the radio antennas. And this phone is displaying the status of the rover. And you can see I've got a fix. All right, to lay down our first GCP target, we'll choose a part of this ground that uh, has less of the tall grass so that we're actually measuring true ground location. I'm just going to drive one of my stakes into the ground. That will be where I rest my range pole with my rover. And I'm just going to pin the corners of this target so that it doesn't blow away in the wind. All right, with my target laid out, I'm ready to take a few shots with my rover before we fly over with the Mavic 3E. Now this bipod helps stabilize this range pole so that I can focus on getting a good shot with the MLID Flow app. Now with the fixed solution, I can be quite sure that this measurement will be quite globally accurate. So 10 seconds should suffice for this demonstration. And as you can see, I go into my list and I can actually see that point number one has been recorded as having that location. And my standard deviations are about a centimeter and we're gonna head on to the next GCP lay it down and take a shot do this four or five more times before we fly Now that we've collected our RTK network out in the field, it's time to fly our mission. Now to make sure that these photos are geotagged, I have connected this M3E RTK module with my MLID base. Now to do that, you go into your RTK settings and you make sure you grab the right information. In this case, I'm using a local NTRIP solution. So the solution is going to be broadcast over a Wi-Fi signal from my Reach RS2 antenna set up on the tripod right over to my M3E controller. Now I also wanna make sure that I actually capture the GCP targets we laid out in the field. So to do that in my controller, in DJI Pilot 2, I toggle on the edit function and now I can drag my polygon just a little bit wider to fit the entirety of the field. Now as I am flying with local NTRIP, that is a Wi-Fi connection between my Reach RS2 and my Mavic, it is important that I don't wander too far away from this base, lest I lose an RTK connection as this gets less Wi-Fi coming from that MLID receiver. Take off, do a little test flight, and fly to my starting point. So far, I like how this system handles the mission. Very similar to an M300 with a P1 sensor. The key difference though is the drone is a lot smaller so you do lose sight of it a little bit easier and you don't have a first person view perspective whilst the M3E gimbal is pointed down. So you do have to be extra careful about visual line of sight. But otherwise it seems to be just about exactly the same kind of feel. So now I've finished my mission and I'm letting the Mavic fly itself home. There she comes. Now with this RTK module and a fix, I should be able to land this without any input. And we're gonna test that here and see what happens if we can get it right on that pad.
All right, I'd say I'm pretty impressed. This M3E just flew this small field in a time of about five minutes at 60 meters, doing about five meters per second with RTK fix. The RTK module is connected up with my MLID Reach RS2, broadcasting a local end trip signal over Wi Fi. This M3E controller did a nice job of staying connected with my MLID and broadcasting good corrections to the Mavic as it flew. We're going to head back to the office and in the next videos, we're going to process the data, take the drone imagery and do an ortho map and run our MLID data through a precise point positioning correction service and see how well this system did. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out candrone.com. For questions about this and other gear, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're always happy to help.